Experiencing no internet access despite your Mac showing Wi-Fi as connected can be frustrating. In this video, I'll tackle exactly how to fix this common issue. Ensuring your Mac reconnects to the internet smoothly and quickly. First things first, let's ensure your Mac's date and time are set correctly, as it's a surprisingly common culprit behind connectivity issues. Just click on the Apple menu at the top left of your screen, select System Preferences, and then Date and Time to verify this. Next, take a quick look at the Wi-Fi symbol in your top menu bar. If it's showing as connected but you're still not online, the issue might be there. It's also a good idea to check if other devices can connect to the internet using the same network. This will help us figure out if the problem is with your Mac or possibly your router or internet service. Moving on to some basic troubleshooting, a simple yet effective step is to toggle your Wi-Fi off and then back on. You can do this by clicking on the Wi-Fi icon in the top menu bar of your Mac, select Turn Wi-Fi Off, and then turn it back on after a few seconds. If that doesn't solve the issue, the next step is to restart both your Mac and your Wi-Fi router. To restart your Mac, click on the Apple logo, select Restart, and wait for your system to boot up again. For your router, unplug it from the power source, wait about 30 seconds, and then plug it back in. This process can help refresh your network connections and potentially fix any connectivity issues. If the basic steps didn't resolve the issue, let's dive into some advanced network settings adjustments. A great way to start is by rebooting your Mac in safe mode. This helps isolate any issues related to default settings or third-party software that might be interfering with your internet connection. To do this, restart your Mac and hold down the Shift key as it boots up. Once in safe mode, check if you have internet access. If you do, a default setting or software might be the problem. For a more thorough fix, head over to System Preferences, then click on Network. Here, set your network location to Automatic and click on Renew DHCP Lease to refresh your IP address. Another effective step is to modify your DNS settings. Click on the Advanced button, go to the DNS tab, and add Google's DNS addresses 8.8.8.8 and 8.8.4.4, which can often improve connectivity and speed. Next up in fixing your connection is managing your network directly from your Mac. A solid step to try is forgetting the Wi-Fi network you're having trouble with and then reconnecting to it. To do this, go to the Wi-Fi settings in your system preferences, click on the network you want to forget, and then choose Forget This Network. After you've forgotten the network, reconnect by selecting it from the list of available networks, enter the password, and see if that solves your problem. Sometimes, starting fresh like this can resolve any connectivity issues. Additionally, if you're still facing problems, try removing any existing DNS entries that might be causing trouble. Go back into your network settings, click on Advanced, go to the DNS tab, remove any listed DNS servers by clicking the minus button, and then add new ones by clicking the plus button. This can help by clearing out any incorrect DNS settings and ensuring your Mac is using the most efficient server addresses. Another powerful tool at your disposal is the Mac's built-in wireless diagnostics. This utility is great for digging deeper into what might be disrupting your Wi-Fi connection. To access it, hold down the Option key, click the Wi-Fi icon on the top menu, and select Open Wireless Diagnostics. Follow the prompts to let the tool analyze your network issues. It might give you some insights or suggestions on what to adjust for better connectivity. Also, while you're troubleshooting, you can monitor your Wi-Fi connection to track performance or recurring issues. This continuous monitoring can help you identify if the problem is intermittent or constant, which is crucial for figuring out more complex connection problems. That's it for this video on how to fix the issue of your Mac being connected to Wi-Fi but having no internet access. I hope these troubleshooting steps help you get back online smoothly. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up 
and don't forget to subscribe for more handy tech tips. Have any questions or did these methods solve your problem? Drop a comment below. I'd love to hear about your experience. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.